G'day guys, Doug here from SEV Fitness Coaching and Anytime Fitness in Pakenham. There we go. Today for deadlifting with Doug, we've got, believe it or not, a deadlift. Conventional barbell from the floor deadlift. It's actually not from the floor. We've got the match set up. Our new blocks, new match that we've got here at Anytime Fitness in Pakenham. And we've raised the bar because I have pretty bad thoracic mobility and pretty bad spinal flexibility. So I struggle to maintain that flat back at the bottom position. So what we can do, if you're like that, if you're a tradie, a footballer, a male, if you just have crap flexibility and mobility, raise the bar, it'll help a lot. So there's a lot of complex things to keep in mind when deadlifting. We're not gonna go over everything. This is not an exhaustive list. This is a short list of some of the most important key points. First thing, middle of the foot underneath the bar. So imagine where your shoelaces would be. We're looking at this part right here, if you can see that, in the middle of my foot, between the toe and the heel. That's gotta be directly underneath the bar. The second thing is, we're gonna grab the bar, we're gonna snap it in half, we're gonna break it in the middle. The third thing, and of course the most important thing is, hips down, so I've got that flat back. So I'm not in a squat position, because if I'm in a squat position with the knees forward, I have to lift the bar forward and up. You can see that my hips are actually back. I've got more of a horizontal back, not a vertical back. So here's a couple of reps, guys. Big breath in, snap it in half. And we slide it down our thighs, just like that. So I'm not letting it come off my thighs, I'm sliding it down there. If you guys have any questions or comments or queries or even jokes, Put them in the comments section, message us, and have a great day.